Hey folks, we're on our way to Whitewater Brewery. Go check out some beer. Apparently they're brewing beer down here in the middle of, I don't know where we are, I think Forrester's Falls. And we're turning down Fletcher Road. I saw a paper plate with, a, with an arrow on it. I think, I think that's a good sign. And, oh, would you look at that? Whitewater Brewing Company, I think we're here. Chris Thompson. I'm Chris Thompson. Welcome to Whitewater Brewing Company, guys. Come on in, we'll get you started. So guys, before we do anything, we need you guys to sign some waivers. We have to sign waivers? Drink beer? Oh, yes. Oh. All right, then. I feel like I'm getting ready for the Mr. Rubber competition. And so, where's the beer? Right this way, boys. I know a shortcut. Tired? Woo! Where's the beer? Alright, you boys thirsty? Yes. Right. Sweet. Let's get started. Beer. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Good paddling. What are we drinking here, Chris? Well, you guys are trying our Whistling Paddler right now. Uh, this is a nice kind of malty beer, 4.5% uh, English style ale or English special bitter. And you've just had first hand experience of one of the important ingredients when it comes to beer, and that's water. So, uh, the Whistling Paddler really is a little close to home for me. It's uh, obviously an English special bitter or an English style ale. Most of these in England would be drunk on cask. We obviously chill it and carbonate it, but it's just designed to be a nice, easy drinking beer that you can drink every day and, uh, yeah, whistle away the time. Color is beautiful, smooth, delicious. A little bit tastier than the river water, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, after a long day of doing some of that, this is quite refreshing. All right, we have the Class 5 India Pale Ale here. It's got 72 IBU, sitting at 5.5%. Nice and hoppy, but very sessionable. Elements of citrus coming through. Pretty smooth beer. So our intention was to create kind of a sessionable ale. It seems to be uh, a bit of a contest between breweries to see how bitter they can make their beers. And we just wanted one that you could have you know, one or two with a bunch of friends and, and not feel your soul kind of pucker up from bitterness. <laughs> Our, uh, our hops come from Alamut Island, which is just the other side of the river here. Oh, it's nice. almost quicker to uh, swim or boat across than it is to actually drive there. It's important to us, or for us anyways, to try to support you know, local uh, businesses. We, we pay considerably more for having uh, for these hops, but uh, uh, we, we like to think we can taste the difference in it anyways. Actually on that, a lot of people you know, don't, don't know what the Class 5 stands for. All the rapids are classed differently. The higher the number, the more extreme or the more more dangerous a rapid might be. For us, this is certainly our most bitter bit. 
although it's not, you know, blow your head off, it, it's the most bitter, so we thought very appropriate for a, to have a class 5 IPA. What do you think, Trev? No, it's great. I had an amazing time. Thanks, guys, for taking us out on the water and uh, treating us to some of your best beers. It's delicious. No worries, man. You guys no still worries. got two more beers to taste it. We, we still have yeah. two more beers to taste. <laughs> 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 just, Cheers. Well, we're back at the brew pub, and I believe the Chris's are back doing what they love on the river. Still out on the water paddling, but we're back here on solid ground, ready for some more beers. Oh, hey. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. the farmer's daughter. So we're sitting here, we have the farmer's daughter, which is a blonde yeah. ale. I like me a farmer's daughter. Absolutely, ale. especially blonde. It's a nice, light, crisp beer. Very good for summer. It's a, it's a lager-like beer, but not quite as bland as a lager, I find. No, uh, lagers usually have a little less of the hoppiness, and uh, I believe this one actually has two hops at work. It's the Warrior hops and the Cascade hops, which are pretty... Cascades are pretty popular yeah, these days. Yeah, very nice blend. Mm. Really gives that citrusy. Oh note. yeah, there's some citrus, maybe even lemon I would go as far as to say. Got some spice to it as well. Yeah, but not a lot, just subtle. Subtle, absolutely. The mouthful uh, is good, yet the finish doesn't last very long. You could drink a lot of these, go down really easy. Oh yeah, very sessionable as well, a lot like the IPA. Yeah. Paired well with a meal, I imagine. And the color is absolutely beautiful. Nice golden color, a little cloudy. Nice carbonation as well, absolutely fantastic beer. Very good beer! Wow, hey, there nice we go. This is the Midnight Stout. Oh, I thank you, Amy. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Last of the four greats that we've come out to sample. And if it's half as good as the last ones, we're going to really enjoy this. Oatmeal Milk Stout. Absolutely incredible mouthfeel. That stout is good. Smooth finish. You know, it's uh, it's got a little bit of the carbonation left, I've noticed, though, too. Oh, it's incredible, like A lot of yeah. stouts, they kind of downplay the carbonation. I think this goes really well with it. Oh, yeah. The carbonation's there. The process is different. Quite malty. I get flavors of chocolate. Definitely coffee. the chocolate. Yeah. Comes through a lot. Roasted flavors as well. Yeah. Leaning more so to the chocolatiness than the coffee. Yeah. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Just not oh, overwhelming is... again. Nice, subtle, smooth finish. Four really great beers that we tried. One after the next, just impressing us even more and more. Yeah, a real home-brewed, grassroots brewery, and we like that. That's it's, it's really reflective in what they produce. They put a lot of care and thought into what they do, and when it comes to the rafting, and it comes to the beer, they both just mesh so well. That about wraps things up, I believe. Yeah, an amazing day with amazing people and great beer awesome experience overall. Well, thanks again, everyone, for tuning in with this episode of Drinking Beer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you like Drinking Drink Beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>